Hey YouTube, thanks for watching another video. Richard Hale with Hale Associations here. Today we're going to be looking at how you add social icons to the Divi theme for WordPress. If you're trying to add social icons, you probably went down and looked and saw that all you have was Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and your RSS feed. So if we look at ours, our website, you can see that we got LinkedIn and we have Instagram added so how did we do that today we're going to teach you and honestly you don't have to be a developer to do so it's pretty simple real real easy I know a lot of people uh, have multiple social media accounts and you want to give your users access to all of them so we're going to show you how to add them real quick so let's get to it right now we're in WordPress so we'll come over here and let's go to the dashboard so over on the left hand side we'll go to appearance and we're going to come over here to editor now this goes to all the website files it may look complicated if you don't know code it's simply okay this is not that difficult to do I'm going to walk you through the process so if we come over here to the right hand side we see the template files for the entire theme what we're looking for is the social icons file so we'll come over here scroll down not too far and we see the social icons PHP file so let's click on it and the very first thing I want you to do is copy the code of the page you should always do this before you change any code copy it and we're just going to open WordPad. We already have it. Copy and paste it in here. That way, if you do something and it messes up, you can erase the page, erase the changes you made, come back here, copy it, put it back, and everything's going to appear like it should. Because one little element that's out of place in programming and everything can go vanish. Zip. Adios. See ya so make sure you copy that code and put it somewhere safe where you can come back to it just in case these are more or less the same codes the only difference as you'll see we'll see Facebook for this first code this is just calling on all the codes for each social icon this is right here so you can see the starting point right here and you can see the ending point with the backslash li so this is the entire code for the facebook social icon pay attention starting point ending point so the next code belongs to the social icon for twitter now regularly when you first upload your DVD or you're seeing all the social icons that you have available all you have is Facebook Twitter Google Plus and your RSS feed now the RSS feed we wanted to keep it on the main end away from the rest of the social icons so what we did we placed our codes between the Google Plus and the RSS feed and right here you can see our LinkedIn and you can see our Instagram so what you can do is you can come over here and you can grab whatever code that you'd like make sure do make sure that you copy the right code so in your file Google icon so let's copy it right here that's the code that we have to copy see where it starts starts after the backslash li that's an ending element so this is the beginning and all the way down to the next closing li I'll give you another second to look at that and what we're going to do is copy it So in that same position 
notice this is your Google icon your backslash li this is your closing point to the icon so what we're going to do is we're going to press enter and right here is exactly where we're going to copy and paste just like that and you can see we have the same identical code the only difference is we're going to change Google out and we are going to add the social icons that we want now I want to add a YouTube so first let me explain if you follow the link in the description it will take you over to the website and you're going to be able to come over here and you're going to be able to see all the different codes that Divi theme works for so we have Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Instagram, Skype, Flickr, MySpace, Dribbble, YouTube, and Vimeo. Those are going to be the social icons that the DB team recognizes and can appear as long as you add the code like we're doing. So you can find that on the website. Just follow the link and it's all the way at the bottom of the page. And also you'll find the instructions, the same ones I'm giving you in this video and we're going to put the video in there too so I don't know exactly if you found us on YouTube, search engine or some other type of uh, referral or whatnot but everything you need to change is in this page so let's go back to the code so we got two Google codes here so we want to add YouTube very very important make sure you only change the social name in this case it's Google so we're going to change it to YouTube now you do have Google Plus here so you change Google and the plus but nothing else and you add it you want to eventually add it four times in the code. Again, make sure you do not erase anything else. Just the name. And we're going to put YouTube. Okay, now we can come back down. We can save our file. And if we go to the website. We'll see our YouTube button. And there it is. So, very, very simple to do. You don't have to know code to add social icons to the DB thing. Very, very simple. If you need to watch the video again or need any of the directions, I just follow the link in the description and we have them outlined in our page right here tells you the same thing in the video but I know some people may want to see it eye to eye rather than listen to it or watching it on the video but it's very simple easy to do and there you go you have it appreciate you guys and girls watching another video thanks for your time DB things fun enjoyable good to work with clients always love it because it's easy to work with and the page builder so definitely recommend it thanks for watching we'll catch you next video